I'm Alice Ripley from Next to Normal, and I'm here to answer your questions. Well, Jessica, I'll tell you, it's taken a year to figure out how to sing the score to Next to Normal and do it while still conserving my energy for the next day. And part of the reason that I'm able to do it now is I've had a year of working with my voice teacher, who I call a voodoo artist. Let's see, um, I love to make soups. If I had a day where I could cook anything I want, I would take a big pot and make lamb stew and then eat it. Uh, probably Thelonious Monk. Um, the whole album, Monk's Dream. It doesn't really matter what size the cast is, Josh. I just like being in any cast of people that are excited about creating something. I don't think those are my eyes on the set. It is odd, and it's odd in a wonderful way though to see my eyes staring back at me from the marquee, because those are my eyes. And um, it feels otherworldly to look down 45th Street and see myself looking back at me. but. Somehow it seems perfect at the same time, I don't know why. Yes, we are, we are, but we don't talk to each other that much. But we're friends, we're friends all the way around. Yeah, Kim, you know what? Actually, we used to make jokes about what we would do if the set fell. We, used to, we had a, an exit plan devised an escape plan, it wouldn't have worked because my plan was to to hide under the set because if you if you stood on stage at the Minskoff and looked up at the Sunset Boulevard set you'd see big big spaces underneath the floor of the set where if you lay down on the floor and made yourself into a big ball if a set fell on you, you would avoid getting smashed by it. Kind of like if you jumped up in an elevator, if it was falling, you wouldn't die that way. So that's how we would think over there. But luckily it never happened. The first boy to kiss me, Maya? Ever? I can't remember his name, but I'm sure he remembers mine. I was about six and he gave me a nickel, and that's the only reason I did it. Well, I w the most embarrassing sorority story is that I, I wasn't really in a sorority for more than six weeks because I rushed and I joined and then I deactivated which is a great word, it sounds so, it sounds like there's something really wrong there. I, there, I think there was, because I was paying my sorority dues and I, I didn't have any time to go to the house or do any of the activities because I'm in the theater. I lived in the theater. So I deactivated, that's my embarrassing story. No, I've never met any real conjoined twins, but I dream of the day. Well, I, I like to say that if you're from New York and you go to LA thinking you're gonna get something done, you're in for a rude awakening because things don't really get done out there. In New York, it's the opposite though. I think things happen very quickly. I think that if you're an actor, it's important to be able to live in both towns and to be a gypsy at heart because you gotta go where the work is. I did. I, my first role was the head monkey in The Wizard of Oz when I was about 14 and just kind of moved up from there through the ranks of The Music Man. I did that when I was a junior in high school and, um, and, then, and then we didn't have a musical my senior year and it was, it was a great trauma to all of us. Hi Justin, I didn't see title of show and I think it's phenomenal that I was 
mentioned in a Broadway show and I didn't even see it. I think that's, I don't know, there's something kind of, kind of untouchable about that, even to me. <laughs> I love that they, that they described me the way they did because that word's coming back now. People are using it again. It seems to be like a theme and I, I like that. That's nice. Leslie, I, I love the fans at the stage door. They, they feed me in the most wonderful way. I feed off of them, their enthusiasm and their skill and um, their generosity. So, so thanks for coming to the stage door. And, and the bubble letters, uh, they really just came out of years of me scribbling my, my illegible signature on posters and just getting tired of seeing the same thing and wanting to make it just slightly more legible. <laughs> That's where, it, and it just gives me, when I'm writing those bubble letters, it gives me a chance to talk to the fans a little bit more. A typical day in the life of Alice Ripley involves getting up and spending time alone for a few hours doing whatever I desire, which could be painting, playing guitar, playing drums, singing, cleaning, organizing, going for a walk, going for a bike ride. I like to reserve the morning just for myself. And then the afternoon is a nap time, obligations, and a nap time, and then I always go off to work. I think my costumes in Sideshow were my favorite costumes. Greg Barn designed beautiful clothes for Emily and for me to wear. And I think that his excellence is in in costuming the show and the actress and the character all in one, serving all three of those at once. And I'm not sure that happens all the time. Lewis is fuzzy. Jen is sweetness. Adam is, is darling. Aaron is golden. And Bobby is um, sturdy. Brooke, playing the guitar did not come easy for me. The only thing that, that makes it easy now is I've practiced for so many hours. It's not even easy, and I don't even really consider myself a guitar player. I mean, if you're talking about real guitar players. But I do know how to tune my guitar. I know how to change the strings. I know all the things that you have to know. And I do enjoy playing. But I've been playing since I was 14. I've been playing for a lot of years, but just never really practiced. So just don't forget to practice. I forgot. Wow, that's a nice compliment. Uh, I hope I hope I do. I hope I get completely naked, head to toe, and do circles across the stage. Someday. Someday. It's phenomenal. I mean, it not it, it goes without saying, I can't believe that anybody would say it isn't phenomenal. Her voice sounds incredible. And uh, I, I'm completely charmed by her story, the story of her being discovered and, and that her voice is literally, some, somebody has given her voice a voice. I, I would tell her to, you know, expand her repertoire. Wherever I am in the city, I love it. I used to go for long walkabouts for two hours. I just, when I lived in Chelsea, I'd just walk around for hours and hours and lose myself. And it was great therapy to just... Have you ever tried crying on the street? Walking down the street sobbing? Try it sometime. New York's the best place to do it. Jimmy, that's the most ridiculous question I've ever heard in my life. Um, if you had asked a question about family ties, I would have been able to answer that. Golden Girls, I, I'm not that familiar with it, but who's the wisecracking one who's supposed to be the oldest one? That's me. I want to be the old one in the room that's, that's got the smartest mouth. Uh, 
I don't really think I need the reasons why I won't succeed. I haven't started. Let's get the show on the road. Let's make it obvious Peron is off and rolling. Wait a minute. I said, uh, for a minute there I sounded like I was English. Isn't Evita supposed to be Latin? What is the word for Latin? Latin-esque? Latin-ish? Well, that would be the one, I guess. Do you know what that is? That's my question for you. What song was that? Hey everybody, thank you so much for your questions. That was really fun. Can't wait to do it again. And I can't wait to see you at the booth. When you all come to see Next to Normal, please stop by the stage door and say hi. I would love to say hi and give you a hug. Bye.